Okay, well, I want to tell you a fun little story today. You guys ready for story time that's going to turn into some personal development? You guys like some story time? Okay, so listen up. <laughs> I wonder what the difference is between adults and little toddlers when they try to do something new. Hmm, what could that be? What is it different? What do you think would be different if like a little toddler... I'm trying to not say too much, but a little toddler tries some new activity and a adult tries a new activity. Like, what is the difference? Hmm, fear, you guessed it. Well, I have literally just experienced that side by side for the last eight weeks. And I was like, when this phase is over, I'm going to train on this because it was like, I've never seen it as crystal clear as I have as when Gigi decided she wanted to learn how to ice skate, <laughs> okay? And I'm gonna put Gigi in the adult category and not in the little toddler category. So I'm gonna show you a picture, okay? So this is what I've been staring at every Saturday for the last eight weeks. On the right side, we have these little, maybe six below, okay? Anywhere from six, like two to six year olds, maybe three to six year olds, these little fearless kids. And on the right side, you have the like 10 plus and adults preteens, like you have all those people. So for eight weeks, I have been watching this and I'm like, I know exactly what the problem is, okay? The little kids have no fear. They give zero, mm, they have no nothing, okay? They are running, they are falling, they are falling over and over and they just get right back up and they're like smiling. Nobody's even crying, nobody's even screaming, okay? They're not looking at left, they're not looking at right, they're not looking at what their parents are doing. They're just like, I'm going for this. I got these skates on and they're like half lopsided, but they're going and they're falling and they're stumbling, right? It's like amazing to watch. And then on the left side, you have these fearful adults. Like they're like tippy, 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 tippy a little bit. And then they look over the shoulder and like, oh, my parents are watching me. Ah, I fell down. Nobody's helping me to get up. And it's like this big or deal, right? And I was like, oh my God, this is like personal development at its finest, left to right. It was crazy. So after eight weeks, these little people to the right are like running, they're going, they're twirling, they're jumping, they're doing all the things. And eight weeks on the left, we're kind of going from A to Z without falling, but we're definitely not gliding. We're definitely not doing any twirls. We're still very fearful, okay? Um, so I wanted to remind you guys of that because that's exactly what happens. The older you get, right? Put a yes in the chat if you agree, right? The older you get, the more fear we develop. I literally had no fear of flying and I used to fly all the time. And then I started flying more with Pamper Chef and then I, I felt like I was getting more fear of flying. I'm like, what is wrong with you, Claudia? You've flown like a hundred thousand times, right? So the more we do things sometimes, the more afraid we are because why? Cindy just put it in the chat because we overthink. We're so worried about, oh my God, what if I fall and then I can't get back up? What if I fall and now I have a bruise and the person next to me just saw me fall? What is she going to think about me, right? We're always worried about like, that's exactly what I just said with the profile picture. Who is watching me? What are other people going to think about my picture? And I just had this conversation with someone today. The moment that you stop caring about what other people think, is the moment that you're gonna be free, okay? You're not everyone's cup of tea, okay? You're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. But the moment that you can truly be your true authentic self is when people are gonna find, your people are gonna find you. Does that make sense? So yes, don't be, Vicky says, don't be afraid of the unknown and the what ifs, right? So what's the difference between the adults and the children? The children fall more. They fall faster, they fall more, they get bruises, but they get back up. Versus some of the adults may not even do the first step because they're so afraid of not doing the right thing and not looking good the first time. So I wanna challenge you guys to be a little bit more like children, okay? Let's be a little bit more messy. Let's be a little bit about 
just not caring, okay, what other people think or may think of us, let's fall a little bit. Go do that TikTok that goes viral and fall with some crazy comments or people telling you you should have edited it more, or you should have said this and you should have done that. Go send the messages and learn what no feels like, right? Go do the Facebook Lives and fall because that's the only way you're going to get better. Otherwise, you're going to be like the adults in the ice skating on the left that after eight weeks, we're, we're kind of moving, but we're really not learned much, right? And that's what happens when you are a new consultant and you join and you're not willing to try new things. You're not willing to put yourself out there. We're kind of active, but we're not really moving. We're not twirling. We're not running. We're not gliding on those ice skates. We're just kind of moving, but it's painful moving because your legs are all stiff and you're just kind of going like that and you're not really having fun. Versus those kids on the right, they had a blast. I'm telling you, the people on the left still had no blast, okay? <laughs> so just a little reminder for you guys. Um, but, you know, here's kind of the summary, but most of the time, children often approach the world with curiosity. Let's be curious. When was the last time you were curious about something and you looked for something and you figured out where it is, right? And you were a little adventurous, like going to an event and meeting strangers or doing something that you haven't done in a long, long time. Kids have no fear of failure whatsoever, right? But as we become older, we, we, bec we become more risk averse. We're, we're fearful of failure and that holds us back. It's going to hold you guys back in your business. It's going to hold you guys back in your journey for personal development. And what we have to do to overcome that fear of failure is we have to really train our brain on how we think. So if, if what it takes for you is to always picture those little toddlers ice skating, then be it, okay? But every time you fail, it's a learning opportunity. I just talked about this today with our executives. I did not earn the Italy incentive trip that people are on right now. It's my first thing I didn't earn. And it's a learning up. I had to learn something. I had to learn that I was miscalculating points, right? Like I had to learn things. That doesn't mean I'm a failure. I just have to learn from negative situations. And you do too. You're gonna miss your first something. You're gonna miss your first trip, your first free product, your first incentive. You need to almost miss it to remember how to not do it. Anybody ever had that experience? Right? You're like, ah, oh, shoot, I didn't know it was supposed to be blah, 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 blah. I could have gotten it if I knew. Guess what? You're not making that mistake ever again, right? You learn that. So really retrain your brain, focus on the process of working towards your goals rather than the outcome. We always say divorce yourself from the results. We said this in Booking Bootcamp the other day. I don't care how many parties you book. I care that you learn how to book parties, okay? Because I know if you learn the system and you do it over a long period of time, you're going to get the result, right results, okay? Um, enjoy the journey. It's a long journey. It's a windy journey. It's an up and down journey. It's like a roller coaster. Just don't get off the roller coaster, okay? Did you hear me? Do not get off the roller coaster. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to spin you upside down. Sometimes you're high. Sometimes you're low. It's part of the journey. Do not get off the roller coaster. And work on developing the courage. Be a little bit more courageous. When's the last time you said yes to something? Yes, you know what? I have no idea who these people are, but I'm going to go to conference because they told me that's the best thing ever. I have no idea what, what you know, what how to go on Facebook Live. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to do it, right? That's what you need. You need to be a little bit more courageous. And even when you're uncertain and even when it feels scary and even if you're, you know, dabbling and upside down, whatever, right? Just know that you can continue to grow. You can be like someone that just decided, I want to learn how to ice skate. I want to learn how to swim. I want to learn how to ride a bike. You're not going to get there in just a few days, right? So what are the action steps you can take? to become a little bit less fearful, okay? <laughs> to be a little bit more like a little child and maybe bring some of that back, right? Uh, I think just we forget what it's like, right? And those of you guys that are grandparents, those of you guys that have kids, watch your kids. You would never, when they, when they come to you and they say, hey mom, I wanna play, you know, I wanna play soccer, but I don't think I'm gonna be really good at it. Like, 
What, what do you think? Should I do it? What would you say? What do you say? I don't know. I'm not going to be good at it, Mom. Like, I don't know if I should sign up for it. I'm probably going to suck. What do you tell them? Yeah. MJ says, let's try it. Absolutely. Try. Try, my child. Go for it. What's the worst that can happen? But why is it that when we as adults, we don't tell ourselves that? It's kind of like we're being hypocritical parents, aren't we? We're telling our kids they can do it and they can live their dreams and they can achieve anything they want in life, but somehow we stop believing that for ourselves. Isn't that true? You tell your kids that, but why not tell yourself that too? So here are your action steps for tonight, right? If, you, if this is something you struggle with and you want to work on that a little bit more, is figure out your specific goals okay what are the personal things you need to develop if you are here and you want to go there let's say you're a consultant and you want to become a team leader or a director what are the things in between who do you have to become in order to get there let's say you're like i want to be a testimony on 212 what are these people doing to be noticed <laughs> okay oh they sell consistently they show up to calls consistently like the chances of somebody being a testimony on 212 that doesn't show up to 212 is pretty slim. They can sell a lot, but they're not coming, right? They're not showing. So don't worry, I have notes. I write down notes every week of who's on these calls, right? So, and then the next step is reframe your stinking thinking about failure. How many times do you hear like, I don't know if I should join Pimpa Chav because what if I fail? You will. You will fail. You're gonna suck. You're gonna suck really bad. And then you're going to get a little better and then a little better and then a little better. Okay. So reframe how you think about failure, break your goal, goal downs into manageable steps. Okay. We can't go from here to there in like a sprint, a little piece at a time. How do you bite an elephant? How does my husband always say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And I try to eat the whole elephant, right? Try to put the whole elephant down <laughs> one bite at a time. Again, focus on the process of working towards that goal the process fall in love with the process don't fall in love with the results fall in love with the process of going live of sending the messages of doing the follow-ups or coming to the training fall in love with the process ah and thank god you're on this call because you need support from others okay you can do this by yourself it's not really fun not many people survive on their own for a very long time we all need our people to lean on, right? Put a one in the chat if you agree. We all need support from others and we all need different people. We, when I first started, I needed the seller. It was never sell. I needed the seller to tell me how to sell so I could tell her how to recruit because I was good at that. I needed to call someone and vent and be like, I'm done with this thing. I'm going to quit this business. And she'd be like, no, just calm down. Go to bed. We'll talk tomorrow, right? You need your people. Take action even if it feels uncomfortable, right? I just read that in the book club the other day. If you learn to run your business when you don't feel like it, imagine what you can do when you actually feel like it because there's going to be days you don't feel like it. There's going to be days it's uncomfortable. It's not always fun. Going to a real job is not always fun. Does everybody that works full-time feel like going to work all the time? Are you always comfortable at work? Is it always the best thing in the world? No, you go there because it pays the bills, right? And the biggest thing is review, right? Review, reflect regularly on your progress. If you're doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, I'm sorry to break it to you, it's not gonna happen, okay? You gotta change things up. If you're doing the same thing and not getting the results you want, maybe we add a Google form. Maybe we post a TikTok now. Maybe we go live. Maybe we do a video, right? We gotta tweak our process as we go. And the biggest thing is celebrate successes. Reward yourself. I don't care if it's a, a Snickers bar. I don't care if it's you take the whipped cream and you go and put it in your mouth. I don't care if it's the wine. I don't care if it's a coffee. But please, please, please take care of yourself and reward yourself in the process. Okay? Um, that is, it's kind of, we're going back to the toddler thing, right? Oh, you went poopy the potty. Here's an m, &M right? We, we, we do all those things for our children, but somehow we forgot, forget to do them for other, for yourself. We give so much. To our, how many of you guys are moms here, right? Put moms in the chat. We give so much for others and we forget to take care of ourselves. What do they say on the airplanes? 
oxygen mask on yourself first before you can give to others, right? So sometimes I think as moms need a little bit of reminders and grandmas and dads, you too, right? Whoever is on tonight. So I challenge you this week to be a little less fearless. Go out in the world, be a little less fearless and be like, what would a little toddler do? Would they care about this or would they just run? Would they put their ice skating shoes on and just go and fall and trip so they can get better? Okay, so if you're ready to become a little bit less fearless, put fearless in the chat. But I wanted to give you guys just a couple of tips um, about that. And I'll